Now, over the weekend, we had Margaret Thatcher's new statue being placed in Grantham, her hometown, which is a normal thing because she has a legacy. Now, some of you might love her, some of them might hate her, agree or disagree with the 80s policies, but we can all agree that she has a name and she's got a legacy and it's just her hometown. Now, one man, a champagne socialist, turned up on the first day and egged the statue. Very brave. Very brave. Everything changed. Like that, the whole of 80s politics has now been erased. History has been erased thanks to Mr. Webster, champagne socialist uh, <laughs> who came from uh, the Leicester area to Grantham to show his opposition. I'm going to show you the clip, then I'm going to tell you more about this guy and the facts about the statue. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, I, this was the most middle class meltdown I've seen in a long, long time. I'm guessing he got the eggs from Waitrose and he had some newspaper. I'm guessing that's the Guardian. I don't know. But uh, for the record, this champagne socialist came with his wife. He is a um, deputy director uh, at a, an art center, particularly, specifically the uh, Attenborough Art Center in Leicester. And uh, he <laughs> he's against... Margaret Thatcher's capitalism, despite the fact that as a as a as an arty sort of a person, he owns a, a house that's uh, that's worth almost half a million pounds in 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 one of the kind of towns that's that it's not really that expensive. So, so well done, great life, great capitalism, good capitalist, good capitalist. But at the same time, they're not happy. They're not too happy. They need to change history. Now the problem here is that this whole statue saga is not what you think. Because his problem was was the, the the whole town and the council, the district council, saying that well, how dare they do this to us? The problem here is that because of the original opposition, they did not use public funds. They raised three hundred thousand pounds in donations, so private money, rather than actually using public funds, because the lefties were threatening the whole thing anyway. That's one. The first thing that changed was that. Secondly, this statue was supposed to be in Parliament Square. Again, because of mob rule mentality, they were forced to not put it in Parliament Square and they decided to go to Grantham. So you already won two battles. And then you decided to get greedy. People like Mr. Webster and a few others decided to create a Facebook group and event saying, uh, well, we should, we should basically get thousands and thousands of people to sign up so that on the first day of this statue thing, we could all go. And I'm guessing egg it or something. One person turned up. <laughs> so you, you won two battles. You lost the third one. But as a whole, overall, you are the loser. Because if Margaret Thatcher was alive, she would love this. She would love to be egged, her statue. Because she, she, she knows that she's living in your head rent free. She's been dead for almost 10 years. She hasn't been prime minister in, in a few decades. And you, you're still obsessed with her. The obsession with one prime minister <laughs> is absolutely fascinating, but very, very brave. Very brave. Well done. And we're going to come back with a couple of more updates for you guys. Subscribe to the channel. I'm my TCN. We are the media.